Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Kill. Y'all come on in, come on in, baby. Come on in this thing. And when you come in, I want you to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop new videos here on the channel because this channel is all about empowering you to rise up, baby, to activate beast mode and to walk in your divine purpose, okay? So I am Latoya Okia. I am a master coach and spiritual leader, and I'm also a business mentor. I train and certify life coaches, and I build transformational leaders for the kingdom of God, baby, okay? So if that sound like you, you in the right place and this is the right time. This is your season to make an impact and an influence by simply being the leader that God has created you to be, okay? So let's get right on into the message for today. I wanna let you know, baby, that this is your time to make an impact. This is your time. You believe this, this word already resonating, put it in the comments right now. Say, it's my time. It's my time. Oh, I feel that. This is your time to make an impact and an influence by using your natural gifts and by being the person that God has created you to be. It's something that you bring to the planet. It's something that you bring to the marketplace that nobody else can do this thing the way you do this thing. And look, it's just simply you being you. It's you being you. But I'm going to tell you something. Until you are transformed by the renewing of your mind, until you get your transformation, and that's what we preaching and we teaching in this season, baby. It's all about transformation. I want y'all to put that in the comments right now. Say transformation. Get your journal. Get your blue ink pen. Write it down in your journal and with your blue ink pen, baby. Say transformation. This is my year for transformation. This is my year. Affirm it today. This is my year that God is rebuilding me. This is my year that God is reconstructing me. That's what transformation means. He's renovating you, baby. He's tearing down the old and he's rebuilding new. He's rebuilding new concepts, kingdom concepts, kingdom principles. And he's tearing down that stinking thinking. What we say, baby, that spiritual sledgehammer. This is the season for you to pick up the spiritual sledgehammer and for you to bust down every brick, every lie, and every limitation that the enemy has built up in your mind. This is your time and your season to tear it down. And it's time for you to come forth and to impact the world, to impact your community, to impact your household with the natural gifts that God has placed on the inside of you, baby. And I want to let you know, and, and like I was saying on the video that I just recently dropped on my channel where I was saying, you are enough, you are enough. And, and this is the season for you to come forth and know that you are enough. And this is the season for you to come forth and to make that impact and make that influence but you got to get your transformation first. That's why I told y'all to put that in the comments. That's why I told you to write that down in your journal with your blue ink pen. Your transformation is needed first because before I could come out and make the impact and, and have the influence that I have for the kingdom of God, I had to first be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Like one of my favorite scriptures says in Romans 12 and two, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. See, God has amazing things in store for you, baby. He got big things in store for you. Ooh, your eyes ain't even seen it yet. Your ears ain't even heard it yet. And you can't even think this big to the level and to the magnitude of what your heavenly father has for you. But until you are transformed, by the renewing of your mind, come on now, until you turn from the wicked ways and you turn from the evilness and the wickedness, I'm telling you, baby, I'm telling you. And it's a lot of people that'll say, well, you know, that ain't in me and I ain't like that and I don't do that. And listen, it's in all of us. It's in all of us. You was born into it. Do you understand me? You were shaped in iniquity. You was born into sin. And until you come to the heavenly father and you allow him to put you on that spiritual surgery table and you allow him to do open heart surgery on you, that wickedness is still in there. That evil is still in there. Come on now. That sin is still in there. Somebody put that in the comments right now, baby. Say open heart surgery. Open heart surgery. Tell the Lord to do open heart surgery on you, baby, because this transformation that he's going to perform in your life, it is something that you have to allow. 
I learned this a long time ago, that God ain't going to hit you upside your head and pull you in there and throw you on that surgery table and make you give up that stuff in your heart and make you forgive your enemies and make you get rid of that jealousy and that envy and that animosity. He's not going to do that. It's something that you have to allow. So what does that mean? You have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. You got to get sick and tired of living the life that you've been living. And you got to say, I know it got to be something better for me. I know God got to have something else for me. And I came as a messenger today, baby, for the kingdom of God to let you know that he does have something better for you. He has the promised land for you. He has a spiritual inheritance for you. The Bible says that a good parent will leave an inheritance. Come on now. It, he will leave an inheritance for his children's children. I hear God say that I have an inheritance for you. And all you got to do is receive. Receive it. How do you receive what God has for you? By getting your transformation. By, by opening up your heart and being willing for God to come in and work on you and come in and heal you from the past and heal you from that from that trauma and that and those wounds and those things that happened to you a long time ago allowing God and allowing the Holy Spirit to just come in and clean you up you got to get new knowledge you got to read books you got to fill your mind with new images with new knowledge with new information new tools and then you got to put it on repeat you got to put it on repeat. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say repetition, repetition. You got to put that new knowledge on repeat. You got to listen to them videos over and over and over. You got to take them courses over and over and over. You got to listen to them audio books over and over and over because it's in the repetition that the mind begins to break down those old beliefs. It begins to break down that stinking thinking and new beliefs begin to build inside of you. This is how you get your transformation. This is how you become the person that God has created you to be. And then everything that you're reading and that you're filling your mind with, you have to speak it. You have to speak it. Then you got to start aligning your life with what you're listening to and what you're speaking. So if there's people, places, things in your life that's pulling you away from this new season that God has for you, got to get them seals, baby. Got to pick up those spiritual scissors and you got to cut that thing. You got to cut it. I just did a post on my Instagram about this. That what, what are some things that you are entertaining right now that's not benefiting you spiritually? It's not benefiting you emotionally. It's not benefiting you mentally. Come on now. Financially, it's not benefiting you. It's not moving you closer to God. It's not moving the needle forward in your life towards your vision and your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. What are some things that you still entertaining that you know it's time to cut it? <laughs> Somebody put that in the comments right now, baby. Say, I got to cut it. I got to cut it because before the elevation can come, God says there are some things, there are some habits, there are some traits that's got to be cut. All of this has to take place before God can raise you up and put you in that season to make an impact and to make an influence for the kingdom of God. And I'm telling you, baby, that now is the time. Now is the time. It has never been a better time than it is right now to come forth and give the world what God has given to you. So I don't want you to sleep on your transformation no more. Somebody put that in the comments. Say it out of your mouth today. Say, I can't sleep on my transformation. Don't sleep on your elevation. Don't sleep on your growth that God has for you. I want you to make a commitment right now and I want you to make up your mind, make a vow to yourself, make a vow to God that you're going to do whatever it takes to get your transformation, that you're going to do whatever it takes to get to your next level in God and you're going to do whatever it takes to become the person that he has created you to be because you can no longer push off your divine destiny. You have gifts inside of you that the world is waiting for. We waiting for what God put inside of you. And now is the time for you to come forth and to make that impact on the world. There are lessons that you learn in the things that you went through that the world is waiting for you to teach them. Women that need what you have, men that need what you have. It's your time now to make an impact, to make an influence. So don't sleep on your transformation. Go on and get that. So you can come on out and give us what we need. Okay. I love y'all so much, baby. I am Latoya O'Keele and I'll check back in with y'all later.